Welcome to Eva's Exotic Fruit Reviews. Today we're talking about mangosteen. I first learned about these when I was in Thailand and um, they're pretty expensive even in Thailand where everything's cheap. Um, I'm in Brazil now and they were like, I think I paid something like $12 for half a kilo which is kind of crazy but I really wanted them. <laughs> and then um, the thing that kind of stinks is that see these three, I think I'm learning they're probably going to be no good. You probably want to pick these smaller ones that aren't so beat up like that. And another way you know if they're going to be kind of crap, I'm learning the expensive way, <laughs> is if it's hard to cut the outer rind. Okay, so um, I guess I was a little bit wrong because look, this is one of the beat up ones. And okay, the part that I was right about was that cutting it um, was easy. Right here is a little meh, but the fruit itself looks gorgeous. Look at that. It's kind of like a brain. It's like cerebral, right? Do you see all those yummy, juicy things? And it tastes kind of like if a peach and a grape had a baby. Like the texture is kind of like the inside of a grape, but it has this cool nut inside. So <laughs> I just like put the whole thing in my mouth except for this one little segment so you could see that they have a little seed inside but you can just chew and swallow the seed and it feels like satisfying like a nut like it feels like a nut that was put in there to give you a nice little contrast of texture against the like inside of a grape fleshiness of a fruit I'm going to open the rest of them and let you know how many of them ended up being good. Sure enough, all the small ones are in the free and clear. Look at my research. One of the big scarred ones that I thought might be yucky was good, but the other one, look at this. Ew. So I feel like if you get the small ones that are kind of cleaner, they're a sure bet. The big ones might be good. However, when I try to cut these that are like the bad ones, um, it feels like I'm gonna hurt myself trying to cut them open. So I would say that if they're fighting you to get inside, don't bother because they're probably gross inside. What's interesting about them is that people sell extracts of these for lots of money because it's supposed to have like all sorts of medicinal properties. So this delicious white fleshy part in the seed is what you eat. A lot of times when you have something that's like such bright colors like this they usually have lots of nutrients so the extract is actually come comes from the rind um, that are used in different supplements rather than the actual fruit <laughs> i like to eat a little bit of the rind like just take some of it every once in a while it, got, it has like a little bit of a tartness to balance the sweet deliciousness of this it's pretty amazing and the flavor you guys got to try them if you get a chance but like i said in the U.S., I've seen them for $5 each, and then you know they're gamble. Like, you could pay $5 and it could be garbage inside. Like that guy. I'd recommend trying them if you're in Thailand. That's the best place, and their season is June, and they're called the Queen of Fruit there, but I was happy to see them in Brazil and had to go for it.